Hi everyone. Let's take a tour of my tropical garden. So let's start off with this um, plumeria. This is supposed to be a pink one. So I'm still waiting for the flower to come out. Got the uh, monsteras on the ground. Got a male plumeria. Another yellow plumeria. This is supposed to be, this is a white ginger plant, a white fragrant flower. This is a, this one is called a Halocrinius. Still waiting for it to flower. I got a tea plant right there, also known as cordylines. This is more of the monsteras. I gotta show you guys that one right there. It is a small monster and some guy right there. I I uh I literally stuck it on the ground with the. This is a hibiscus right here. It's an orange, large flower. flower red flower. Or tea plant. I like the uh, variegated variegation in this one. Beautiful plant. This is a. Uh, this is called a morongai. is edible that's good for you and you have well it's fruiting good vegetable so yeah the delicacy some countries um, more plumerias this is a uh, pink one not quite sure what the actual name on this one. There's thousands of different types of plumerias, but as you can see, I have a, I have a lot of collection, different varieties. Uh, let me show you guys my, uh, egg, my banana plant. This variety is actually a small variety, very sweet. So as you can see, there's two of them. Alright, so on the on cord lines, also known as tea plant, more of the white ginger flower. That little plant right there, that's actually a loquat. Alright, let's turn around this way. So tea plant, this is actually a pink cord line tea plant. So like a lot of light, so it's turning red. This is another ginger plant. It's a white one, very a lot of fragrance. Another plumeria. Um, a nice fragrance to it. Um, this. You gotta have this if you have a tropical garden. Let's go back this way. This is a plum tree right here. Um, fruit is a small fruit. It's actually sweet. I ate it this summer. Alright, let's go 
along with the tour. Yellow Pomeria. This is a very common color, but I think one of the top Pomeras because of a really strong fragrance. Very distinguished and attractive. Uh, this is a Manila Mango. Although it's a small tree, um, hopefully next year I'll start fruiting. Very healthy, we can see. Go on the ground. This is another, this is a Holocania. I got it from Hawaii. Potted it. Um, it's still uh, acclimating to the uh, California, California weather. White ginger. I'm guessing that it, wouldn't, it won't flower this year, maybe next year, because these are all new. White ginger. I just take you on the side right here. So, what I have right here is a mature um, avocado tree. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of avocados. They're still small. They might be ready by by the fall. As you can see, there's a lot. I'm actually fighting with the squirrels because they're eating my fruits. And I don't like that. Um, all right, let's go on. The street is a small, maybe five feet it is uh this is a uh atomoya very delicious fruit i would rate this as top three favorite fruit this one you gotta hand pollinate it for uh for fruit production so as you guys can see i have a lot Small tree, but very productive. Otherwise, um, these are my hoyas. This is my. You can see it's flowering. It had. It's actually everywhere. It's wrapped around the tree. You guys can see. I have the heart shape one and the um, the round version variety. So you see how this is called a runner. I can easily cut that and make more plants, but maybe I'll do it next time. Uh, more. Tropical plants. I got more cord lines right there. Nice variegation. It actually makes the yard, the uh, garden look good. Okay, anyway, so this is what I was talking about earlier. This is a, a peak. Cordeline tea plant. This is also from Hawaii. Alright, some more monsteras. Very lucky that I'm able to um, have them on the ground. We have a very nice climate here in California. Nice weather. Although Although we have, we do have a winter, we do have winters, winter, um, here, so, everything kind of dies out in the summer, in the winter time. Anyway, so, let's talk about the orchids that are literally going here naturally. Well, I have them in the pot, and it's doing quite well. 
white one, and I have a pink one right there. Those little dots are from the flies that like like to light in the plant and leave their um, markings. Anyways, these are uh, di three different types of monstera. of the Adansonii. So I just have it in a pot, actually, and it's climbing this tree, the avocado tree, along with my Hawaiian giant patos. As you can see, they're very, it has a very large leaf. And it's, Lining. It has really good um, aerial root. It's actually gonna attach, or it looks like it's gonna attach to the tree, so it doesn't need my assistance. Although it does get pretty windy here, I'm actually afraid that it'll. Uh, It'll fly out, it'll like come out, so I'm gonna have to like tie it up. All right, so that is the side. Let's take a look again. Let's go this way. So, this is a fruit tree right here. This is called a loquat, very sweet, very productive. So I had to cut part of that tree right there to make room so that the sun will come down and shine its light for this fruit to survive. As you know, you guys. All right, so more avocado. an abundant of fruits. All right, let's go this way. This is actually a jackfruit tree. This is an air layered jackfruit tree. It doesn't look like it's gonna survive. I don't know why, but I've given it all my attention still hasn't um, improved since I had put it in the ground. All right, let's go on the, the other side of the bed, the yard. This is the vegetable area. Is where, this is where I get my organic stuff. So more plum areas. I have this plum area, one of my favorite color. Nice plum area. There's a kumquat right here. As you can see, a little small fruits. So this variety has um, sweet um, skin and sweet inside. So the skin is edible because it's sweet. All right, so this is my um, this is my bitter melon. Different. I have four, three varieties in here. Four varieties, I'm sorry. So I have the really small one. I have this Japanese one right here. They can grow up to like 10 inches in length. I got this. Um, support system right here. Quite big. Ready to eat, ready to harvest. Um, this one have a guava tree. I had a pest problem so I had to cut it down but it's coming back.
Alright, this is called the water spinach. Very, um, very good. This is the, um, it's called the Adamoya. This is the red, the red version. So the earth, the ones I showed you earlier is the green version. Yeah, obviously this one you gotta hand pollinate too for food production. Got my onion, green onions, ready to harvest. What I like about this is, you know, you always have green onions. This is a variety. I don't know what type of variety of mango, but it's supposed to be a good one. I haven't decided, I still haven't decided if I want to put it on the ground. Because this is a, a dwarf variety. So technically you can put them in a, you can leave it in a pot. Alright, this is a uh, tangerine. this year because uh, literally just planted on the ground last spring so let's take a look at my vegetables oh I uh, forgot to mention this is a uh, sweet potato sweet potato leaves I actually consumed this for the leaves so it's like a salad so yeah this is my uh, organic vegetable garden all right so more plumerias As you guys can see they're all potted because they're all new Size fruit. Alright, more plumerias. This is a loquat grown from a seed. This is uh, another plumeria, burgundy color. This is Aztec plumeria, Aztec gold, that's what it's called, it's official name. Alright, more plumerias. Check out this side. This is the cherimoya. Show you guys the fruit. So looking over this way, you can see you can see the fruits. There's actually a lot. Many fruits. There you go. Vietnamese cherimoya. As you can see, my neighbor's fruit. <laughs> um, oh yeah, so check this out. This is called a Venus flytrap. So you guys look closer. You can see like little shadows of like you can see it looks like it's the flies so yeah they're a carnivorous plant very easy to grow but you just need to buy or have distilled water kind of cost costly but 
this. Alright, let's go on this side. I got a lemon tree. These are giant lemons. Maybe I can show you a large. Yeah. Oh, came off by accident. It's falling on the ground. Alright, let's. I want to give you guys another tour of my collection of um, Monsteras. So I have three different varieties here. So this is called a Thai constellation. So I just uh, recently unfurled. I got a uh, Antarium. Warak something. But um, this is a very sensitive plant. I thought I had killed it, but managed to keep it alive. It's a Thai constellation. Uh, I've got a monster, a Borsigiana out there. propagated it so I'm still waiting for new leaves to come out to merge more monsters all right so I guess that concludes this tour if you guys like this video consider subscribing for more contents like this and smash the like button if you have any questions just comment down below and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys